this is my AI content creator. As you can see, I'm able to talk with precise hand movement and facial expression, which is pretty impressive. And I can decide to walk like this. You can see how my studio look looks pretty good, right? I can even dance, but I'll show you that later in the video. For now, I got to go back to my sitting position to get this video going. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I created this AI content creator and how you can create one for yourself without really showing your face or setting up a studio. My name is Charles. Let's do this. The first thing you need to do is to create your image. You can use any image generation tool for this. For me, I'm going to use ChatGPT because it gives the best result when it comes to generating animated images. Now, once you're in ChatGPT, you need to make sure that you're in the 4.0 version. It gives the best result. Now, once you're there, you're going to enter this prompt. You're going to say, create a 3D pixel character of a young African man in his early 30s, sitting in a well-lit podcast studio He's facing the camera, his hands are clearly visible on desk, he has a low fade haircut, he's wearing a blue long sleeve shirt, the environment should have clean modern studio look with appropriate lighting and podcast elements like a microphone and acoustic panels. The image should be rendered in 16-9 aspect ratio. Now, depending on the type of character that you want to generate, you need to tailor this prompt. If you want a female content creator, you need to use like African woman or a white woman, whatever, just change it to a woman, all right? If you want a white person, change it from African to American or Mexican, depending on how you want to tell your prompt to, all right? And also, I used a podcast setting. So the reason why I use this is because I want a podcast content creator, right? If you want something else, you can just put it in here and you can see he's facing the camera because I want the person to look straight to the camera and his hands are clearly visible on desk. Now, if you don't add this part here that says his hands are clearly visible on desk, your content creator's hand may not show. ChatGPT might just generate an image and hands cut off somehow, which wouldn't go well when you try to generate the video. You know, if you try to generate the video, the hand will become distorted. So try to include this so that the hands will show and the AI will have an idea whenever I want to generate a video. So. I also said, you know, this is just the feature of the person and I included the long sleeve sweatshirt just in case if you need to generate uh, image in multiple places, just add the shirt color to give it that consistency. And then the environment is always good to add environment. And as you can see here, I added the lighting. I want it to be bright light. All right. I don't want any blue light or some funny light. So I made it clear here, appropriate lighting. I also made it clear here well lit well lit so that it will be clear and visible and then i said the image should be rendered in 16 9 aspect ratio now this is important especially if you want to do this for a youtube video if it's a tiktok video you just say 9 16 but it's youtube that's why i use this now we are done with this now this is just for someone that wants to generate a content creator that doesn't look like the person. But if you want to generate a content creator, if you want to create someone that looks like you, what you're going to do is to upload your image and then enter this prompt. So it's almost the same prompt, but it's a little bit different. So the prompt says, create a pizza star character of a young African man sitting in a well-lit podcast studio. He's facing the camera. His hands are clearly visible on desk. The environment should have a clean, modern look and da, 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 da. I did not add certain things because I've already uploaded the image. So I don't need to add um, facial features and all that is not needed, right? I've already added a reference image. So once you have this, you're going to click on generate and boom, we have our image ready. Now you can see how the image looks. It looks somewhat like me. You can see the shirt. It has the shirt. It has the right of create your story. It has, you know, shape of my hair is a pixar character normally if you give ChatGPT a prompt to create a pixar character it is going to create an exaggerated version of you it's not really like a complete look alike pixar characters are not supposed to exactly look like you but have your features and somewhat exaggerated right so this is 
the pixar character of me my content creator so now we have this we are going to go to the next part which is kind of tricky and that's why i need to listen closely here all right a lot of people make mistake here you don't just go and just generate unless you won't get the flow that i'm about to show you so you're going to go to clingai.com and then click on create and then you're going to select video generation and make sure that it is in image to video so what we're going to do is to upload the image that you've generated and boom we have the image here and then we're going to enter this prompt so the prompt says a static shot of a man speaking directly to the camera he gestures gently with both hands while talking maintaining a calm presence with minimal movement his eyes blinks continuously now we made this static shot so the camera won't move and also so that you know it's just going to maintain that consistency we also said oh his gestures should be gentle because you don't want to generate video and then the hands are moving up and down we want it to just be gentle and then we said calm presence and his eyes blinks continuously now if you don't add this last part his eyes will blink while talking and then to make it feel you know feel somewhat real okay don't worry about copying the prompt i'm going to drop it in my telegram channel if you're not my telegram channel just check the description of this video to get the link to join all right join it and get this prompt for yourself and if you're not subscribed to this channel subscribe like this video share it comment there are a lot of helpful videos in this channel so subscribe now that you have your prompt in the next thing is just to click on generate and boom you have your video set so we are going to move to the next part now we want to make this really interesting we just don't want to have a video where the content creator will just be sitting and then just be, we just want to add flexibility to it where a person will stand up walk you know and still maintain that consistency and then you also dance and then go back all right to the sitting position while still maintaining that consistency and all that very interesting now to do that what we're going to do is first to download this video we're going to click on download we'll have a copy of this video once we've downloaded it we are going to go to this website all right we're going to go to this website it's called frameextractor.com what we are going to do is to upload the video we just generated all right what do we want to do i'm going to share why we are doing this so click on select video file so this is the video file here the video we just generated we are going to move this part here to around nine seconds a 10 second video so we're going to move it close to the end around 9 6 14 right now what are we trying to do we are trying to get the last frame of this video so we can generate from that last frame another video so it's just going to blend seamlessly i'll show you how this works right so once we've moved this to this part after uploading the video we are going to click on extract and it has extracted the frames you can see the timing we want the last frame right and this is the last frame so what we're going to do is to download this frame click on download and we have downloaded the frame so we are going to go back to clean ai and then we're going to upload the image that we just downloaded from that video right we are going to upload it as the start frame click on start upload and then after uploading the image we enter this prompt here the prompt says a tracking shot of an animated man standing up from his seat and walking while talking he looks directly into the camera and gently gestures with both hands as he speaks his eyes blinks continuously camera follows him now i added this part an animated man standing up this keyword is very important at this stage unless you might get funny results i try this a lot of times before getting a good result so this is the right prompt that you can use and then i said camera follows him the camera should follow him unless you might get wrong results so add this to it now once you have this you just click on generate and boom we have generated a video for this starting from that frame right and i'm going to show you the video later when i'm putting it all together let's go to the next part now we have done the part where the character stands up from the desk and walks a bit and now you can make this guy dance right let me show you and everything is going to be consistent what we are going to do next is we are going to download this video that we just generated because we want the person to dance 
while he's walking, right? Just as he's walking, he's going to dance. So we are going to download this video, all right? And then we are going to go back to the video extractor. So we are going to go back to the video frame extractor, upload the video, and this is the video of him standing. So I'm just going to take it to 9, 49, 50 something, and then click on extract. Then I'm going to download this last frame. Now I'm going to upload the frame I just downloaded. And then I'm going to enter this prompt here. The prompt says, a tracking shot of an animated man dancing calmly and talking. He looks directly into the camera and gently dances as he speaks. His eyes blinks continuously. Camera follows him. So here, the only thing I changed was this dancing. Animated man dancing calmly, all right, and talking. He looks and dances as he speaks, all right? So once we have this, you're going to click on generate. And boom, we have the character dancing. I'm going to show you this when we are putting everything together. So what we are going to do now is to download this and create another one. We are going to extract the last frame, click on download, and then we go to the video frame extractor and upload this video we just downloaded. Now we are going to take this to the end and then click on extract. And it has extracted. And we're going to use this last one, right? We're going to click on download and we have the image now we have the image you're going to generate the last video and this is the part where it's very tricky right if you don't do this you might not get the flow properly it's not going to sync properly now what you have to do is to make sure that this clink 2.0 is in clink to 1.6 right 2.0 doesn't do what i want to do now it doesn't do it yet so you have to change it to 1.6 once you've changed it to 1.6, you're going to upload the image that you just downloaded. And boom, we have this as our start frame. And then we're going to upload the end frame. All right, click on end frame, upload, and boom, we've added the end frame. Now, why are we doing this? The start frame is where the video will start from. The generated video will start from this place. And then the end frame is where the video would end. So the video starts with the person standing and end with the person sitting down right now this image in the end frame is the first image you downloaded from chat gpt and is the image that we used in generating the first video now it's going to end there so that the first video you can use it to generate another video lip syncing video and it's going to blend properly i'm going to show you this one i put it together you're going to see that it blends and it's going to look very good the next one is the prompt you're going to enter this prompt we're going to see a tracking shot of an animated man gradually walking toward his table and gradually sitting down on a chair. He continues talking while he's facing the camera, gently gesturing with both hands. His eyes blinks continuously. Camera follows him. Now, gradually, gradually, very important so the character won't be too fast. Once we have this, we click generate and boom, we have our video. I'm going to play this video. But before I play this video, let's move on to the next part. Now, this next part is very important. So for the next one, you're going to go to 11labs.io to generate your speech. If you don't want to generate your speech, if you don't want to use AI voice, you can just record directly and I'll show you how you can do it. All right. You record directly to the lip syncing tool. So what we are going to do is to enter this text prompt. If you're using 11labs, enter your text prompt and then select the voice. When you select the voice, you click generate. All right. If you don't want to use 11 labs, you can use Google studio, right? The one from Google studio, it is free. You can generate audio or speech on Google studio for free. You're not paying any money. Just go to aistudio.google.com slash generate speech. Enter your prompt here. Make sure you've selected single speaker audio and then select the voice. And once you have the voice, you click run and boom, you will have this audio. I stumbled on this by accident and it's wild. What started as a... So this is Google's free um, text-to-speech tool that you can just take advantage of, all right? Now, I don't want to use text-to-speech. I don't want to use AI voice. I want to use my own voice for my own animated content creator, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record directly on this next tool. So we are going to go to dreamfaceapp.com now this is a, a very good ai platform i've used it it's quite good with certain things especially lip syncing so we are going to go there and then we are going to come down to where it says video lip sync click on it 
click on generate avatar video and then once we have that we click on this plus sign here upload the videos that we have generated now we have all your videos right the next thing is to generate the speech for all of them that's it all right so what we are going to do is to upload the video so you have to upload the video one after the other and then add the audio to it so we have uploaded the first video that we generated what we are going to do is to click on audio and then upload the audio so if you use 11 labs to generate audio or google studio to generate audio just upload the audio here but if you don't want to do that what you can do is to click on record and record directly so you can just click on this record button if you're using your phone and record directly which is very easy for a lot of people all right instead of using the recording app you can just record directly to this place but what i'll advise you is to record directly to your phone first and upload it it's going to be easy for you all right that way you have the raw file just in case you make any mistake or there's an issue you can easily upload it again instead of recording the whole thing from start all right so you are going to click on record and record the voice and that's it for all the videos i've generated you're just going to do the content for it talk for each one it's your content is your idea so whatever you want just say it upload the next one record so once you add the audio you should know that the limit is 30 seconds all right so whatever you're doing it shouldn't be more than 30 seconds play it to confirm it play it once you've played it you click on generate and it's going to generate the video lip sync for you so just repeat this for all the videos that you have generated once you have done your lip syncing just like i did you're going to do this last part which is putting everything together in CapCut. so you're going to go to CapCut to do this now if you're using your phone and you want a free editor a lot of people are asking me oh where's the free editor you can use edits edits is an app you can use it on android or ios It's a free instagram app that you can use to edit videos but if you're using your laptop just use CapCut. CapCut is pretty um it's pretty good so we're going to go to CapCut. and i've uploaded all the video on CapCut. what i have to do is just to arrange them according to how i want so i'm going to start from where he's seated this video is just where he's seated you can't hear the audio but i'll play everything and you hear it so i'm going to take this to the front and then the next part is him standing up uh which is this i'm going to move it here and then the next part is him dancing and then him moving to the front him moving and then going back to seat and then i'm going to copy this beginning part where he's sitting and talking and put it at the end right so you just have to be creative with this depending on the type of content that you're creating right so for me i'm just doing this for this video so once you're done arranging it what you have to do is to click on export and you're going to have this video right here as you can see i'm able to talk with precise hand movement and facial expression which is pretty impressive it means i can deliver content that feels natural engaging and almost human like whether it's for tutorials product demos storytelling or even marketing this ai doesn't just speak it performs you can see i'm dancing dancing i'm dancing see the moves there eh? this is really fun to create you can see how my studio look it looks pretty good simple clean this is the future of digital presence all right let's go back to my sitting position now from here you can just create an entire series of content without ever touching a camera this is the future of content creation i'm going to leave the prompts i used in this video on my telegram channel the link is in the description of this video if you haven't subscribed subscribe there are lots of helpful videos here like comment share and then watch this video here i made it for you